Okay, part three, sorry about that. Uh, so I've just been, um, the thing that showed up next was working on your parent gene and there were a couple of uh, just tiny little affirmations around that. So, What's the puppy's name? Sorry? What's her puppy's name? Major. Major. Yeah, Emma, Andy, and Major. Mm -hmm. And Bobby Boy Beautiful. Okay. So this one's about um, honouring Bobby Boy's energy. I am honoured that my Bobby Boy chose me. I am honoured that my beautiful baby boy chose me. And hold. Psychological reversal. Yep. Want, need, think, self believe, deserve, trust. Still a little bit of a trust thing. I trust that I can let go of this problem. And hold. I trust it's better to keep this problem. Hold. Interesting. Why? Why? Mm. Feel threat, danger. So in relation to being honoured that he's chosen you, I might check the um, celestial circuit once again to make sure the conscious uh, now and the past are connected because we need to make sure that it's all integrated in the now. So you're having your now moments. You know, so fears of the future, fears of what have happened in the past don't keep coming in. We need it to be in the now and securely in the now. side again so that's the feminine side it's the caring side it's the nurturing side was just being a smarty pants Alice and I was wondering why did you choose your mum? Oh, <laughs> I like the same, what was that same punishment for mm, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Happy I chose my family. I am happy I chose my family. And hold. Psychological reversal. Want, need, think, safe, believe, deserve, trust. Trust again. I trust I can let go of this problem. Hold. Ah, okay. I trust it's better to keep this problem. Okay. Connect 
the logic to the creative and the space to play and help out. Disconnect. Fair enough. It's been fully swapped over for a while. Yeah, so we're in the zone where I'm, yeah. The xiphoid process is where the rib cage comes up and it's also very much about anxiety. So it's sort of like, you know, cause it's um, lung energy, grief, got regret. Yeah, right. And it's exhausting when you're really um, stoic. You know, so it takes energy to constantly be saying, yep, everything's okay, everything's fine, it's mm -hmm. exhausting. frontal cortex to do with sadness, despondency, depression tends to shut it down once again. There are emotions to do with the past or, you know, anxiety about the future, so sadness, despondency, depression. Pain punishment circuit. Base chakra brain. I suppose the thing about choosing your family is it doesn't have to be this lifetime either. It can be that genetic family, you know, so that can have been brought through. It can be past life stuff, it can be karmic stuff depending on our beliefs. Yeah, Jay actually started talking all this karmic stuff the other day. And I said, really, is that what you believe? And he said, well, lots of people believe it. And I went, oh, right. Because I was thinking, do you believe <laughs> You know, I actually didn't know. And the last time we were out there, he mentioned, um, no, I, I started noticing that his mum had heaps and heaps of, um, well, stuff around that made me think, hmm. <laughs> yeah. okay. It was a real eye-opener to me. Interesting. It feels like that's another one of the great divides at the moment. You know, as if we need more. <laughs> chakra oh and solar plexus so, so, mm, so solar plexus is around that real sense of yourself and um, yeah so when you feel dominated and submissive and belief in dogmas getting in the way and that heart chakra around self-worth self-belief self-love okay can you feel how cool they are there, there's some real coolness in their emirates. Um, yeah, right. It's interesting. Or maybe it's just a post anesthetic thing potentially as well. To wake it up.
eighth chakra. So that's the bottom of the feet. That's the one around um, uh, feeling grounded, feeling safe, feeling secure. So, you know, sunshine, fresh air, mountains, beach, sand, breathing. Meditation, the Wim Hof technique, bathtub. Hmm? Bathtub. Bathtub, yeah, soaking in Epsom salts, making sure you're nice and alkaline in your body, plenty of greens, plenty of organic, good quality proteins. Okay, is there, a, okay, so any more connections from left to right? Yeah, okay, so it's the central system. Uh, parahippocampus. Okay, so parahippocampus is the, uh, it's the emotions around the memories. So the first one showing up is emotional responses, which isn't surprising since you had both sides of the brain in the emotional, um, which we've got the logic. Oh, no, 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 that's a lie. You, you did have some logic on the right hemisphere of the brain, but then it takes longer to get that logic back. So you can do everything, just takes that moment uh, longer to sort of get there. Anyway, we've got the logic back in the left hemisphere of the brain. But that's fear, threat, danger in relation to your emotional responses. The next one showing up is uh, the 20. It's a, um, this is about visceral responses. So those gut emotions. Yeah, right. And it's um, connected to the pleasure reward center. So when your gut response is to stress, it switches down your ability to just relax and be happy and be calm and at peace. Okay, and then the next one showing up. Is your reaction to learning? So getting to where you are now with, um, you know, looking after little bubby boy, uh, it's been a big learning response. So this is for when the learning response has been stressful. So I'm sure you know a lot more now than you did around the whole process than you did six months ago. But each time you're adding in that little bit of information, it can be a good process of learning or it can be, holy crap, what are we doing, sort of, you know, so it's very much about the emotional response to learning what you've needed to learn to be where you are. Okay, um, hand over your navel for me. Yeah, so this is um, linking in with an old time when uh, your brain was traumatized and it was hard to think complex thoughts. So it's like uh, when we are, uh, like I heard one statistic that was something along the lines of if we, if we have 15 minutes of constant stress, then we lower our IQ by about 12 points. So when we have stress, you know, um, compounded for quite some time, it just messes with our brain and it makes it really hard to do complex thought processes. So we're just fear, threat, danger, connecting it to complex thought, calming it down 
then we'll make sure the two hemispheres of the brain are involved to help out as well. And hold. Not too bad. But the brain would rather run away than think. <laughs> when you're under that stress, fair enough. of my beautiful baby boy into my life. I welcome the energy of my beautiful baby boy into my family. to the process of growing my beautiful baby boy with patience and faith. program for this body is no longer necessary now in the future. Wonderful. Thanks, Alice. That's good. Thanks, Amara. I'm sure I'll talk to you soon. Bye.